This your boy, Big Head the Dome Doctor, man. I'm out here in front of this church, you heard me. I don't really know the name of it. New Hope Baptist Church, you heard me, on Ardenwood, Greenwell. Show my boy, Chad Martin, mom some love, you heard me. But um, anyway, I'm going to take this time to say rest in peace to my boy, Chad Martin's mom, you heard me. And um, stay strong, my G. But I want to say this, like, bro, his mother... You know what I'm saying? She was an older lady. You know, she lived a good life. You know what I'm saying? That's good. You heard me? A God-believing woman. You know what I'm saying? That's great. But check this out. Like, these short lives, that's not what's up, man. Like, these youngsters, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that life's so hard, the struggle so real, that they need an excuse. So they go try drugs and different things and different things and you know bro that's really affecting us man that's really taking a lot of young black people away man too soon man like just the other week bro i lost my, a niece in detroit my brother brian daughter and uh, someone that was real 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 close to me bro at just because of you know overdoses and things like that man we got to get on top of that because they ain't gonna put that on the news they on you got to be Whitney Houston or Michael Jackson to OD and get put on the news so if you have a problem like don't hide it at least let people know so you could try to get some help you know what I'm saying because experimenting with things like that it'll take you out and before you know it, you gone, we don't even got time to try to help you or nothing because you was hiding it. So, man, don't hide it. If you got a drug problem, man, if you can't do nothing for yourself, just throw it out there to the people you know that love you and care about you, that'll help you or do something to try to, you know, help you shake that monkey. Because I know the struggle is real, man. I know it, bro. Take it one day at a time. But like I say, Live to see the next day. Don't throw your life away, man. That stuff is real, man. Leave it alone, man. Please, man. Like, I'm, I'm asking, bro, because like I say, you know, my niece up in Detroit, you heard me? Like, like my little homie, he down here in BR, but it's like on the same day, the same time, the same night, you know what I'm saying? Like, that let you know, like, the, the connection from Detroit to Baton Rouge, there it is, if y'all want to know, there it is. You heard me? The overdoses. You heard me? Like, come on, man. We got to do better, bro. We got to help each other, bro. Like, not on my watch. Nobody that I ever ran with, I ever kicked it with, did no type of drugs besides weed on my watch. Ask them. I don't care. Me and them. That's all we ever did. Ask them. Not on my watch. No ODs, no extra stuff, no this, no that, no none of that, man. You heard me? We got high. That was it. That's all. Nothing else was going down on my watch. So, you know, not on your watch. 